They've come from all over the world to see this man. Sheikh Nazim is rarely seen in public. Today, the frail 91-year-old is treating his followers to a special appearance on the first day of the Muslim holiday Eid al-Adha, the Feast of Sacrifice. Turkish Cypriot Sheikh Nazim is head of the Naqshbandi Hakani Sufi order. He lives in the village of Lefke, in the Turkish-occupied north of Cyprus. His derga, or hostel, is open to visitors day and night. Egyptian-Italian Jahan gave up a high-flying job and now lives a quiet life of prayer and meditation in Lefke. A master of five languages, she translates Nazim's teachings. My heart was captured, and that was, uh, I mean, I think for a year I had uh, quite a bit of you know, difficulty with my family because I was working in the UN, I was this, doing all this important work, and then suddenly I just felt like you know, all of it was, um, something else was more important. Sufism is often referred to as a mystical branch of Islam because of its emphasis on spiritual practices, including meditation. It's structured into orders or congregations around a master. Historically, one of the most widespread and influential branches of Sufism, the Naqshbandi are still one of the most active, although no independent figures exist to assess the number of followers. Sheikh Nazim's order is popular with Western converts. It's an Islam that's more flexible, with an acceptable vision. At the same time, he's playing on the danger of radicalism in the U.S. and Europe, with the Salafist and Wahhabite, by showing that Sufism is a kind of instrument against radicalism. Nazim has published dozens of books of teachings, and his order has centers worldwide, with the busiest in London, Istanbul, and the U.S. Here in the gardens of the communal derga, where his father lives, the sheikh's son Bahiddin explains it's all about love. If you love the human, and you love the nature, and you love the people, and you love the animal, that's mean you are in right. Bahiddin's elder brother Mehmet is in line to take over the helm from his father. Mehmet must find his own way of spreading the love in a world where the face of Islam is so often seen as radical.